Well, first of all, why the fuck do we call it falling? I don't not that much of a thrill seeker, and I don't know if y'all know this, but the ground is really, really hard. <laughs> so then why do we do it? I mean, did we pop out of our mom's legs asking for Prince Charming, or did I watch too many Disney movies? I've got a lot of questions about this thing called love. Because love to me is kind of like cigarettes. People turn to it when they're angry, frustrated, or lonely, but shortly after stomp and plastered on the rubber soles of their shoes. Mm. And they do this over and over again, never realizing that love leaves black lungs. Mm. Love is a cancer that attacks both your mind and your heart. Can't you see this as an addiction that is eating you alive? It's the poison that's spreading through your veins as you blush. It's the smell of tissues and broken promises that suffocates even the most fragile people. So no, I think it's better if I'm not. I think it's better if I say no thank you when a stranger asks me to offer up my heart on a silver platter. Mm -hmm. Because I've seen too many movies that told me that the truth isn't always made with stuffing and fur. And that memory of chocolate only lingers on our tongues for just so long. Mm -hmm. Love is the infamous serial killer that cops have been looking for centuries. They didn't listen to the poet's warning about us about the complexity of love, of love for years, and here I stand warning you. Because love comes and love goes, leaving you with Ben and Jerry's and sweatpants to help you cope with the one night stand that just couldn't stay until dawn. Mm. Love confuses us into thinking that all you need to do is be in the right place at the right time at the right bus stop at the right red booth in the diner just to find the love of your life. Mm. Cupid, the merciless god who pulls on the strings of our heart, invading our minds and turning us into monsters or hero. It's love that left you at the restaurant for hours, not the boy with the crooked smile. It's love that told you it's okay when we say the words I love you and let them fall into each other's lap like cups of spilled juice, carelessly and maybe even on accident. It's love that left the voicemail who was working late, and it was love that slept with your best friend, and yes, it was love that left you reeling in your bed for hours, counting how many breaths you took since he left you. And it's love that tells us that our own pulses and heartbeats stop sounding familiar without another person to guide them. So no, I don't want it. I don't want to look for meaning behind scripted conversation and prolonged eye contact. I'm good. Because quite frankly, there are easier ways to die. <laughs>